Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Michael Williams, and I have had a couple people online uh, ask me to explain how to stream to YouTube as well as Facebook in OBS for free without having to subscribe to another service like Restreamer or Caster or some of the other services because we know that some churches uh, right now may be on a budget. So let me show you real quick. I'm using my Streamlabs OBS to record my... Um, my regular OBS just to demonstrate this because of the settings that I need to set so I'm actually inside of my OBS right here and then you're pretty easy to set it up first of all you're gonna go to your settings and you're gonna pick stream this is where you put your Facebook live so in your stream you want to put your Facebook live first and I'll actually go to Facebook and I'll choose live here and I'm using I think I'm using a persistent stream key I'm not sure uh, I am so I'm just gonna hit copy and then I'm going to go back to OBS and I'm going to paste that and click apply click OK so that part is set up uh, you don't have to close out settings but I just did it anyway just so you can apply it then you're going to go to output and normally when you go to recording this is set to standard so in standard this is where your um, this is where you set your OBS to actually record what you put out if you're actually live streaming if you're pre-recording like many of us are then you really don't need to record it because you actually already have the output file which is the video which you've done in another program or maybe you you've done it in Final Cut or Premiere or you know DaVinci Resolve whichever program you use iMovie and so here you probably wouldn't need to re-record your recording so normally this is set for those who are actually going live stream right here in the window which is the, the, the recording window I'm gonna turn on my my um, zoom key right here on recording when you click on this button over here which is a drop down on type change this to custom output FFmpeg FFmpeg is, a, is an encoder and then from here what you're gonna have are some options now normally this is gonna be blank but as you can see right here I've already inputted what I need to input you get your stream URL from YouTube so I'm gonna go over to YouTube here real quick and in YouTube you want to click you know click on your live button to go live you hit stream now and then you'll be taken to this page this is where you get your URL so you'll right click on that copy it you're gonna go back to OBS and you're gonna put in here that URL after that you're gonna put a forward slash you're gonna go back to YouTube and reveal your stream key. You're gonna copy that. Then you're gonna go back to OBS, and at the end of the URL, you're gonna put the stream key there. So normally you just put uh, just the URL by itself if you're streaming to like your own private server, something like that. But here you need to put the URL for YouTube forward slash and the stream key together. Now you don't have to change any of these settings right here. YouTube does recommend a higher bit video bit rate, but I think that's probably you know all you will need to do there are some other video codecs in this window um, but I don't even think you need to change that because I have not experienced anything with that after that so you change this to custom uh, and I'll turn on my zoom one more time so you can see it oh my bad I will click over here you're gonna go to uh, settings you're gonna go to output then you're gonna go to recording right here then you're gonna change this to custom output FFmpeg you're going to change the output to URL, and then you're going to enter here your YouTube link, followed by a forward slash, followed by your stream key. And then you're going to hit apply. So what I'm going to do now is click OK. I'm going to start streaming, and I'm going to push start recording. So as you can see in my bottom right-hand corner, it says I am streaming. So if I go back to my open websites, you'll see that I am streaming according to Facebook it's over here in the bottom right hand corner now I'm not gonna hit go live because I don't need to and you'll see right there that this is capturing my screen and I'm streaming at 1.8 megabits per second I don't have any audio going out so that's why there's no audio right there and if I go over to YouTube you'll see that I'm also streaming so now I'm in streaming to YouTube as well as streaming to Facebook live all by using OBS I don't need any secondary program to do that and you have to remember you have to put Facebook live protocols in streaming section of your settings 
and then you have to put the recording section for your YouTube. That's where you put your protocols for YouTube. If you click on the output t t tab here and you um, change this to custom output and your and output to URL, this is where you put all the information for that. So that is the way that you can stream to YouTube and Facebook Live directly from your computer without having to sign up for an external service. And you can test it out and see how it works for you. But it works great for me. So thank you guys for watching. And hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, learning much more about media so that when we return back to our ministries or our businesses, we'll be able to actually excel at what we're doing. So thank you again for watching. God bless you. You guys have a great day.